One of the things that we've we've done incorrectly is that we we view the Great Commission, Jesus' words to his disciples, as versus only for missionaries. We've, we've made a little bit of a disconnect there. And we think that's for missionaries, and then, you know, for me, I've got my, my other verses I have to obey. And I think we need to remember that the Great Commission is for all disciples. Anyone who is a follower of Jesus Christ must obey the Great Commission. So Jesus says, go, go you therefore, teach all nations, you know, make disciples of every people group, is what Jesus is saying there. So if you can imagine, a, you know, a banner that says, make disciples, right? That's our, that's the Great Commission, make disciples. Under that banner, if you can imagine maybe, maybe two flags coming down. To make disciples, you must do two things, right? Evangelism and discipleship. That's how you make disciples. It's not only evangelism and it's not only discipleship, right? Jesus did not say, go and make converts, right? That would only be evangelism. Jesus said, go and make disciples. And so that would be evangelism and discipleship. So evangelism is the first step. You know, how do you go about winning souls? How do you cultivate, you know, that, that desire in, in your life? And how do you actually do that as far as, uh, you know, evangelizing? Evangelism is sharing the gospel with someone. It's sharing the gospel. It's, it's taking someone who has no faith in God, no faith in Jesus Christ. Maybe they've never even heard the name of Jesus. It is helping a person go from that place to the point where they would understand that God is holy, that they were created in God's image to walk in fellowship with Him, but they chose sin, they chose to rebel against God just like us, and as a result of that sin, they are going to face God's punishment, you know, spiritual death. They're going to face that. But Jesus Christ came with the love of God. Jesus Christ came and He lived the perfect life that God expected of us. And Jesus Christ, being innocent, died on the cross, not for His sins, but for ours. And any person who would place their faith and trust in Jesus Christ and what He has done, that person can be saved. Saved from the power of Satan, saved from the condemnation of their sin, and completely forgiven by God and promised an eternal home in heaven. So you take a person who, who knows nothing about Jesus, maybe they don't, don't love God, they don't follow God, to the point where they would embrace that gospel message and say, I believe this. That's what, that's what evangelism is, right? And so some people start and maybe they already understand a lot of that and you're just trying to help them place their faith in Christ. Or maybe you start with someone who knows nothing and you gotta take them through that whole story, the whole gospel message to help them understand everything. And so evangelism is that process, right? And so how do you go about doing that? The best way is to simply build relationships. It's the best way. And there's a lot of different things we can do. You know, we can give out tracts, we can, we can be a good witness, we can, we can have a good testimony. All those things are extremely, extremely important. But where you are gonna to begin to see the most fruit in winning souls, the most fruit in evangelism, is if you focus your efforts and you focus on specific people in specific situations and you pray, you say, God, Help me to win that soul for you. Help me to share the gospel with that person. Have a list maybe of five people, something like that. And, and on purpose, look for opportunities to share the gospel with them. In general, you can't just walk up to someone and just give them the whole gospel message. It's very difficult to do. Uh, God may give you that opportunity and you need to be ready to take, take that opportunity. But in general, it's just life on life. One person living a normal life alongside of another person who's just living a normal life and you pray for that person, you love that person, you look for opportunities, you pray for opportunities, and one day God's gonna open the door and you can share the gospel with that person. And so that's where evangelism comes in. That's the first step in obeying the Great Commission is evangelizing the lost. The best way to increase our burden for the lost is to learn about eternity, is to focus on eternity. Uh, I love to talk about heaven. I love to read books on heaven. I love to read scripture about heaven. I love the promises of eternal life. I love the fact that, that Paul and so many others in the New Testament use words like hope to describe what we're waiting for and what is, what is waiting, awaiting us in the future. And on the flip side of that, to understand what is awaiting those who have yet to trust Christ and understand that hell is a real place. And we see Jesus Christ talking more about hell than he did about heaven. He knows what is waiting, awaiting those who have rejected him and so I think the more that we remember that our life is very, very temporal, the more we remember that there's a heaven and there's a hell and they are real places, they are literal places, they are physical places, they are uh, places where our souls are gonna spend eternity, depending on what we do with Jesus Christ in this, in this life right now. And so I think if we wanna get rid of the indifference 
and we want to really focus on what eternity is like and, and, and winning souls here. We need to focus on the fact that there is a heaven, there is a hell, and they are real places and we need to help people as much as we possibly can to choose Christ in this life.